Matrix watch. This is certain. Now what today we're going to be talking about the Klansman trial. I've been keeping a close eye on it. Of course you've been seeing some things mentioned here and there. But the real big story surrounding this case gone long time. I was waiting for a major update. And now we'll have it. The prosecution has rest in case. That means sir, they now have nothing more to present. This is after seven months uh, of evidence. Uh, you know, there's been a few delays. Big C, plus the judge, uh, Chief Justice Brian Sykes, was not happy right, throughout various stages of the trial because he must say, the prosecution leave out certain things ready. And at one point, then they get sent back, right, to get transcripts and all kind of things. So, at this point, the prosecution say, I hate this for them. But the defense, right, them actually still have more to do. The defense, right, them the rest nothing. The defense, I say, right, them actually want to talk back to one of the witnesses, them. It's someone like C4, come to see them mention, right, the star witness of the crown. So, they might go talk to C4 again. I guess they might have more questions to ask him. And at all, they're going to question the witness again. But they have until May 24th to make them no case submission. So you know, say, almost every man I go send in that. Right? I expect everybody right, to get a no case submission sent in to the judge. How many of them right, will be successful? Well, we will see. You know them think they got ready. Right? In a trial, you hear the defense say, they might go drop or no case submission. The judge can either agree Right, and dash out the case right there, so we don't have to go no further. Or the judge dismiss it and say the case will continue for that particular accused. So, May 24th right, are them deadline. So, as I said recently in the video, right, where I was talking about you know, Jamaica was some of the most notorious quote unquote innocent people in the world. But tell you, say, in a courthouse, the onus is on the prosecution to prove guilt, not defense to prove innocence. So the fact that the prosecution rests for them case, right, that is the real big story or so. So the defense will have the last word in this trial. Now even though the case is not done yet, because you know defense is the same thing, right, I've learned a lot from observing this trial. It showed me what is possible. And it showed me, say, what heap of work still need to be done. The operations carried out with CTAC and C4 right, is undoubtedly the most impressive part in all of this. But in terms of putting the case together, submitting this and make sure say, certain things in place, right, it looked like there were some shortcomings. We're going to see how that will affect the outcome. But telling you, say, you can't be as guilty as sin. But if you go in a court and certain things like chain of custody, no right, judge can throw out things. Chain of custody is the more office you say it started off yes sir, then it went to that person, then it went to that person, and that's documented. If you go a court, go show that. This is something where enough people right forget about until they actually reach a court. Because you're fairly confident. You're like we have a phone call with Black man with Muma, I discussed this and I discussed that. And you think this is a slam dunk. But in our court of law, you got to say, alright, you have recordings, you have chain of custody, which cell phone company. And then if you can't answer two or three of them questions, you might hear say, you know what, this is not admissible. Throw it out. So I'm not as confident as I was at the start of this trial. Based on the evidence where them colleague, based on the operations where go down, I was thinking this is a layup. Based on how things actually play out in the courtroom and the little legal complexities, I'm not so sure. 33 people and it would be some achievement if all 33 get convicted. I wouldn't be surprised if the no case submission some of the clans man them right, get accepted and you say some of the man them are going to walk but we have to see 
how that play out. At this point, as I say, I'm just not certain anymore. So whatever the outcome may be, we're going to have to use this as a learning experience. Because this anti-gang case thing, right, it's a fairly new law. Right? It looks like they might learn as they go along. Right? As some new star laws. And there was, you know, the previous trial where, you know, the Chancellor Wilson, right? The Clansman trial is bigger than it in terms of the amount of people, right? And the targets they might go after. But there's no two ways about it. If the man in the case, this is going to be an extraordinary failure in the eyes of the Jamaican people. Let me correct myself. In the eyes of the non-acidic Jamaican people. Because you better believe there are a lot of people rooting for black man and co. A lot of people. There will be celebrations if they bust the case. Look at the play out. For the video end, I want to touch briefly on the big money fine and the dead coke fine the mamma be you know the one involving presser right. so the man of them all right a quote unquote businessman named Ora Johnson he's now received bail them all find 1.5 million dollar bail that come like 10 dollar to them man then. that come like a party and cocoa bread to them man then. Right. so 1.5 million him lawyer go quote and say, right, him client of art condition. So, you know, if if he, if him if him then a custody, him can get certain things done and it look like it work. Not only that, we seen the papers where them say the care of them hold him, you know, has also been released. No, many things say when time things are this happen. Them hold on upon certain things like the car and the hard evidence for a very long time, but evidently not. Because the man get bail and the car has been released. You see them put out say presser is a person of interest. That's all them put out. Which Jamaican who no know presser can help them? All them do is say somebody named Presley Bingham is a person of interest. The Jamaican public can none. Then must have a name. But they're not going to do that name because the public is not going to walk around and ask everybody ID. But I want to see how this case spoke here already. And as I said in the Ram Charan video, by now, Presser probably cut from Jamaica a long time. Too much there so for lose. But I know your favorite leaders don't want Presser right, in the hands of Uncle Sam. If Presser drop in that interview room with the feds, then and talking go start. We never start see the place turn upside down. So we never just keep hearing say, you know, person of interest and then them look around and them say, alright, nobody not ask no more question. People forget about this. Alright. Alright, now we can get back to normal. And it will happen. Remember the Kevin Epstein story? Remember that story was so massive? When was the last time anybody asked them about Kevin Epstein? People forget about that long time. No matter how big the story is, people forget about that very quickly. So, they might get to a couple weeks, right? people forget again. But even though they don't have pressure, we don't see them have the quote unquote businessman. Right? And we're going to see what made him. In the Palm Bill, they hold him for just under 10 keys. That is not a little bit of diet coke. That is enough diet coke to give you some serious time. So, we're going to see how this play out. Anyway, hey Chan Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, no life. Hold Squad, stay circling. Bless.